Hello everyone, my name is Constance and this is We Are Open and Diverse. Today we're going to talk to three of our international students who by now almost five weeks ago had a choice to make. Inna, why did you decide to stay? I decided to stay because I wanted to finish my thesis here and it's more comfortable here. Nga, you decided to leave. It had to be an immediate decision. Uh, my dad called and I had to be on the soonest flight and it made sense to also finish my year with my family. And Tom? I was offered a job to come and help and I thought it would be useful. Um, and also I thought traveling was somewhat dangerous. My father is a part of the risk group for coronavirus. So I thought I could do more good here helping in the hospital. Ina. Your mom and grandma in Moscow, how do you keep in touch with them? Well, we usually also Skype with each other like every couple of days, but we also constantly send messages to each other over WhatsApp, especially of my grandma's and my mom's cats. So it cheers me up a lot. Nga, you are at home with your parents and your two sisters. How has that been? It's been really nice. I count myself blessed and lucky to be with them, um, but it's also trying to find a balance between doing my work and spending time with them. The other big transition in the last weeks was from on offline to online education. For now, we have a lot of thesis workshops, which are longer than usual, but we use a lot of different digital tools. So it's really interactive and interesting. And so they actually work and help us learn new things. Nga, how has it been for you? Because you're not only a student, but also a tutor. Yes, uh, trying to just learn how to keep the students engaged from the side of the tutor. And then as a student, also trying to keep myself engaged in tutorials. The tutorials are a bit different now, less interaction, uh, well, in the law faculty, I think, and also much shorter, so more directed at just ensuring that we all achieve the learning goals. And Tom, you are one of the few of us that uh, goes outside for working, that still goes, has to go to work. Um, I'm working five, six days a week usually. Um, I prefer morning shifts, so I go to the hospital at seven o'clock in the morning. Either, I'll then stay until two, three, um, and then I get the rest of the day usually for myself. Um, but then some days have been longer across the last four or five weeks. Yeah, the, the system changes almost every, almost daily. So uh, it's taken lots of flexibility. I have lazy mornings, but after that, I usually do yoga, I study, and I also try new hobbies and activities to not get bored and entertain myself while I stay in the room. Um, I have uh, three courses, tutoring and my thesis. So I'm trying to just fit in all those things in the day. It normally starts at around seven and ends, I guess, at five or six. Have you learned already any lessons that you would like to share? Well, I think the most important lesson for me is that it's important to stay safe and healthy physically and mentally. And it's not always necessary to learn new things in quarantine. It's just important to go through it. During this time, I've been forced to sort of just act on what um, is happening and just take it as it comes. And with regards to the university, the ability to have the tech team, the communications team, professors and students all learning how to adapt to online education. I'm realizing the things that I really miss most is the sort of uh, interpersonal connection, the co contact with friends and family. So I think, um, yeah, once this is all over, I think I'll have to shift my priorities. So thank you all for sharing your stories, your experiences. Hang in there and stay safe. And I hope to see you all around in Maastricht sometime soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.